Okay, I have another dream. This is basically a living scripture. I love this dream so much because God is so amazing to like really give you an understanding of like scriptures of his living word. It's just like, I'm going to explain it. So in this dream, I was in this pasture or field. It had very few trees. It almost... A part of me wants to be like, it's an island, but it's not an island. It just looked like it was a pasture with a, or a valley, right? And so it would, like, it would seem, it was super, super peaceful. However, I immediately, from getting this view of the place, um, I immediately was zooming throughout the grass. Like, I was, like, almost, like, skating on grass. And I was in full armor, and I had would look like I feel like it was an invisible sword in my hand from the way I was holding the way I was holding my hand if I knew there was something in my hand I was as as I was skating uh, um through this through this field and so then I seen it was like a man a male figure was there and he kept trying to reach out for me and grab me and I would dodge him and his hands wouldn't land on me but he kept coming around and I kept like taking whatever was this like this, it seemed like it was a sword the way I was swinging my hand and blocking everything that he was trying to do. Every time he tried to grab hold of me, I would dodge and then I would use his weight against him and toss him off. And I just kept fighting and, and separating myself from this, this man. Um, and then I, when I was going around in the circle fighting and, you know, dodging him, which I thought was a spirit. I saw myself, I saw uh, another part of me standing on a hill looking. And every time I dodged this man and took my sword and just, you know, severed our connection with each other, my soul, oh, well, sorry, my, the person that, uh, that was me standing on the hill, which I now know was my soul, God is so good, and would say, good job, good job, fight good job, good job. And so I immediately was like, is this spirit, soul, and body? Because God let me know, like when I was writing this dream down, the Holy Spirit gave me amazing revelation. It was like, this was not a spirit you were fighting. You were fighting flesh. And I was like, okay, flesh. So this was a flesh old man. And then I was like, I had on my armor and I was like, this must be my spirit. And then I was looking at myself, say, good job keep fighting and everything like that. So I was like, is that my soul? So, um, my spirit was fighting my flesh and my soul was watching. And I was like, Oh my God. I was like, this is so amazing to, I was, but it's it just like, okay, let me continue. So, um, then my spirit ended up after a while grabbing hold of the flesh, both hands and subduing it, stopping it from, uh, for stopping it from all action, from attacking and everything like that. And when that happened, my soul then was beside a elevator and it looked like it was about to go up a level. And I was like, oh wow. So then when I woke up, I was like, again, I, in my mind, I was like, it's a spirit, soul, and body. So I was like, God, you know, I come to you and I just ask that you uh, guide me to a word by the Holy Spirit. And so he led me to Colossians 3, 5. And it says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, um, what is it? Uh, um, and ordering affections, evil, consi- uh, consi- consi- uh, you know what I'm trying to say. You, you'll see it. It's a stumbling. Uh, conventiousness, which is idolatry. So it's just like when I read these things, I was like, okay, mortify immediately i went in the flesh it was like you know mortify is like embarrassed right i was like is aren't you mortified did this happen but then the holy spirit was like no aspen no 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 stop stop <laughs> he was like look and he he guided me to look up that because mortify kept put like coming out at me so it's like, okay 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 what what do you want me to do with this word and he had me look it up in the greek and mortify means in greek to put to death to take under control and so to put to death and take under control so i was like 
really? I was like, is that what that means? And so, well, in the scriptures, I was like, wow. So my spirit was putting to death, taking under control my flesh. It was taking under control the sinful nature of the flesh, which is the idolatry and all those other things. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, so then it right under the word mortify it was led to another scripture in romans 8 13 to confirm the first scripture which says for if ye live after the flesh ye shall die but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body ye shall live so my first notion was is this spirit soul and body and so by my spirit i have mortified my flesh and then my soul brings to the elevator moved up a level so i was like oh my god so um then it's just like it just it just continued, the revelation just continued to flow. And I was like, okay, so this is a teaching word, a teaching dream for others as well. So we have, we, that's why repentance is so important by repenting and by fasting, you're crucifying your flesh, you're separating yourself and you're walking in the spirit. And when you're walking in the spirit, you're after the things of God. So we must mortify our flesh and more, and like the other um, things that we must, you know, take away are fornication, uncleanliness, um, inordinate affection, evil uh, consumptiousness, uh, conventiousness, idolatry, disobedience, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, uh, filthy communication. And all of this was in um, Ephesians. And then I asked God to continue to lead me to more revelation. And he led me again to one of my favorite scriptures, which is Ephesians 6, and how we need to put on our full armor. And in that dream, I had on my armor as I was fighting my flesh. And so it's just like, God is so good. I pray that, you know, this dream and this understanding helps you because that is the only way that we're going to be able to move up a level in in spiritual growth with the Lord. If we continue to crucify our flesh, if we continue to mortify our flesh, if we continue to walk in the spirit and put on our full armor and be prepared for the Lord, he will, he will, he will be there to bring us higher and greater elevation and greater um, anointing and greater, um, and power and love and protection. God is so good. So we just need to just really follow after him. I pray that this helped you guys. And I pray that you, you know, put on your full armor. All right. Love you guys. God bless.